Welcome back to No Catch Your Name. It's me, Ella. This is episode number 26. I wrote it down this time. <laughs> um, I almost have 400 subscribers, so that's really cool. I'm like four away. So welcome to all the new people. Um, I saw that before I came on here. That's why it made me think it. <laughs> Today is January 11th. So uh, it's really weird saying January. So this will come out. Your day will be January 12th. But I will be babysitting tomorrow, so I can't film. What? Jesse's right here, <laughs> so he might make an appearance, huh? Yeah. All right. Um, so welcome all the new subscribers. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying it. <laughs> uh, welcome back to all the original subscribers, not old. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much the intro. What? Be careful. All right. I'm just gonna hop into finish objects. This is, the first one is the Buggy Garden set, which I did the Love Bug flag out of it. Because it comes with like four or five patterns. What? Yes. Why don't you go play with your slide? <laughs> Anyways, it's the Buggy Garden set. And it's got like five patterns in it, five or six. And I did the Love Bug flag for a Valentine's Day decoration. Uh, I showed it in bits and pieces last week, but now it's done, obviously. <laughs> um... It doesn't look exactly like hers, which, you know, that's okay. But I still think it's cute. <laughs> Hold on, Mama's showing it. I have it hanging in my living room because I... No! No, Mama's showing it. I don't have a place outside to hang it. Oh, we live in an apartment. Really? Do you think it's cute? It's a bug. It's meant to be a ladybug with uh, hearts instead of spots. And it's all just made with, um, it's made with eye hook, every bit of it. And it's made, all of it is Red Heart Super Saver. It's Red Heart Super Saver white, black, petal pink, rogue, hot red, and cherry red. What? Are you stuck? I'm stuck. There you go. <laughs> he has trouble getting out of the chairs. But I just hung it on a dowel and made a crochet chain to hang it from my wall. Uh-uh, leave it alone. Jesse DeWine. You know better. He's messing with the dishwasher. And I only put two of these. The pattern had three. I just thought it would look good with two. Hey! You can't have that because you'll break it. Mama don't want you to break it. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> My next finished, um, did I say that was by Heidi Yates? I don't think I did. The, <laughs> the love bug flag is from Heidi Yates, which is the creator at Snappy Tots. It's a paid for pattern. But she gives it by codes all the time. Alright, my next finished object is right here. They both look weird. <laughs> is my first square for the cow that Terry's doing oh, from the Android podcast. She's doing Santa. it on her Facebook group. Santa? Yeah, Santa. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> but she's doing one of these squares every month. There's nine squares. Well, there's more than nine, but the blanket has nine squares in it and then two banners. So, everybody should get done before Christmas. Um, so, this was January square. There's just Santa Claus, obviously. Uh, it's made in mini corner to corner, which is used. I used an elf hook, and you use half double crochets instead of double crochets, and you chain, begin five um, instead of six. Uh, it's made with elf, I already said that. It's a pattern by, the blanket is a pattern by Sarah Zimmerman. There you go. Whoop. <laughs> Sarah Zimmerman, which is the creator at Repeat Craft Me, which me and Terry have done a lot of patterns of hers, but she has a lot of good patterns, and it's free. Um, I think all of her patterns are free. Maybe she has a few paid for ones, I don't know. But the colors are Red Heart Super Saver, Hot Red, White, Black, Buff, and this is, no, this is the Mainstays uh, yeah. Medium Heather Gray. No. Want Santa? Want to go play with Santa? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Go play with Santa. <laughs> uh, my last finished object. I kind of didn't use a pattern. Yeah. I just kind of, I used what I remembered of the pattern I did for my mom. It's a headband. 
or air warmer. Um, for me. Yeah, air warmer. I didn't look at the pattern um, that my mom's was. Hers was the faux knit air warmer by Maria's Blue Crown. Bubba, don't hit the camera. Be careful. Okay. Go play with Santa right there. <laughs> Uh, it's a free pattern made with an H hook, and this is Red Heart Super Saver stripes, neon stripes. I wrote down bright stripes, but I know it's neon stripes. Uh, like I said, I didn't use the pattern per se, but I just did it the way I remembered it being, and it looks just like my mom's. I don't know if it's exactly the same, but I thought I could wear it this side, which is the ridged side, or even inside out is real pretty. The white stripes. And I made this to match my mittens and my scarf. And I love it. If it's good, I made it a smidge bigger than I my mom's. Are you stuck again? There you go. <laughs> I keep putting everything on him. Alright, that's all my finished objects. You're just going to throw it in the floor, huh? You're a stinky butt. <laughs> you need help again? He's having a hard time getting out of the chair. <laughs> um, turn it a little bit. Let's see here. Whips. Alright, this is almost finished. If I would just sit down and finish it, it would be done. <laughs> <laughs> what? Be careful. Uh, uh, and it's the sleepy bear. Hold on, let me talk about it and then you can play with it. This is why I haven't finished it because he wants it every time he sees it. And it is the sleepy bear. It's a free pattern by Jennifer Oliveras. <laughs> it's with a G hook and the yarn is Red Heart Super Saver Icelandic. Sit down. Uh, he's all he's made in pieces. His body and head are one piece. His legs, arms, and ears are separate pieces. All I have left to do is a muzzle. I'm gonna make it gray, and then I gotta stitch on a little nose and mouth thing and his eyes to make him look like he's sleeping. Here, I'll help you. Okay, then do it yourself. But he's almost done. Here you go. Play with the bear. He likes the bear. You can have him when Mama finishes him. Oh, he's hugging it. He's so cute. Okay, there's a hair. Okay. Jesse had a uh, toddler meltdown, so I'm back. <laughs> Alright, I just talked about the sleepy time bear, which I just think he's so stinking cute. I think he turned out adorable. His ears were extremely hard to sew on, and I took me forever to position them. I think they look fine, but uh, they don't look like the picture. <laughs> but he's so cute, I can't wait to finish him and have him. And I think I might make an another one. And maybe smaller. Oh, He's adorable. Alright, my next whip that I can talk about, because I have a secret one, that I might show you a little hint of, no, because I don't want to give it away, but, and it kind of sucks for you, because I won't be able to show it to y'all until the first week of September, because it's a fair project, and I'm keeping it a secret, because I think it's a really good idea for the Afghan, and I know I have some people who are local to me <laughs> that watch this, and I don't want them to do the same thing. And win my ribbon. No, I'm just kidding. But about that part. But I don't want. I don't want someone. I don't know if that sounds bad. I don't want someone to see it and make one also, and then there'll be two there. Because I think that I will win the blue ribbon at least with it. Hopefully, I don't know. I'm kind of arrogant, I guess. But I want a purple ribbon so bad, which is best to show, and maybe that'll win it. I don't know. Anyways, my last whip that I can talk about is in the very first bag I ever made. It's my. Well, I don't know. It's the very first bag. I don't know what to say. It's a little baby bag, too. It is tiny compared to the ones that I've been making because I wanted to make bigger ones. This is two fat quarters. This is four fat quarters. I doubled the uh, pattern so that I could make larger bags. But I like this little one, too. It's good for little projects. Right now, there's a shawl starting in it. It's not really... It's like this big. <laughs> You'll see it in a few minutes. But, um... This is what the bag comes out if you follow the tutorial that I always have linked down below. It's a tutorial that I just found on YouTube one day and it's got a boxed bottom. It's not interface so it's floppy. But um, I want to learn how to interface this year. It's one of my crafty goals. But yeah, I think he's cute. Or she, whatever it is. And inside of it is a cake. It's a mandala cake. And unicorn. It fits like almost perfectly down in there so I'm going to leave it in there. And I just work out the top of it. And this is the shawl so far. This is a very difficult pattern. This is the Honey Blossom Shawl. It's a paid for pattern. And the reason I'm doing it is because it's part of a crochet along hosted by um, 
what is it? Yarn Journey Crochet Podcast. Uh, it's, it goes from now until um, Valentine's Day. Ish, because that's what it says on there, Valentine's Day ish, or February 14th ish. And this pattern is very confusing, and it's not just me. Everybody who's doing it on the uh, Ravelry board has had trouble with this pattern because the person who wrote it, Jinty Lions, wrote it in a very unlegible way. Um, it makes more sense once you like focus on it and think about it for a minute what she meant, but she could have worded it better. I assume that's a girl. Could be a boy. But um, I almost decided not to do it, but I finally figured it out and from reading other people's posts, figured out what I was doing wrong and what everybody was doing wrong and we fixed it and I think I think it's on the right track now. But um, to be truthful, if I mess up on it again, I'll probably just rip it out and not do the cow because it's kind of annoying. <laughs> I don't want to do a pattern that's really difficult because I want to enjoy my crochet and not like stress about it. But yeah, it's Mandala, Lion Brand Mandala Unicorn. It's made with an elf hook. I think the pattern calls for a D, but I don't like going much smaller than an elf. And I mentioned who is hosting the podcast. Or not the podcast, the cow. Back to the Santa Square. I forgot to even talk about Terry a little bit. She's hosting the cow, Terry, which is the Yarn Joy podcast, and she's hosting it on her Facebook group which is the Android Podcast Facebook group. Um, it's relatively new, but it's an awesome group, so go join it. And, uh, yeah, so Terry's house not. I think I didn't mention that. I don't remember. Jesse walked off with a pad of paper and a pen, so I'm hoping he's not coloring on something that's not the paper. <laughs> he had a crown incident the other day, and I took his crowns away from him because he colored all over the floor. Luckily, we have, like, linoleum floor, so it washed up easily. All right, that's all of my whips other than the secret one which is for the fair. It is an afghan, I already told you, but I can't um, talk about it to show up because I'm keeping it a secret until after I enter in the fair, <laughs> which our fair is always the first, it starts the first Saturday of September. No, it doesn't. It starts usually, yeah, it's the first Friday of September. So it's usually early September, obviously. Duh. I don't know what I'm saying. All right. Um, the only other things, I have a few notes here to talk about. <laughs> One is, of you know, to talk about it more than two seconds, would be the fair. <laughs> Since it's January, I'm going to go ahead and start looking for stuff um, to start making the fair. I have a list on the paper that he took off with of, like, 30 categories that I would like to enter. But, you know, I probably won't get all of them done. Maybe a little, but I'm not going to put a lot of pressure on I me. Mean, I'm just going to do the ones that I really want to do and then go from there. And like I said, i got the afghan working. I've already got a hat. Um, I got a folder on my computer with all the patterns I find that I want to do in it. I got a hat picked out. I got a scarf picked out that I'm actually about to start. It's in the Ugh. candy cane bag. And there's all kinds of yarn in here because it's got a lot of little bits and pieces. It's a Heidi 8 pattern. I made her, um, oh gosh, I think it was Rudolph Sampler or Santa Sampler scarf last year. It was the one with all the reindeer and then Santa on the end of it. And I won first place with that. And this is very similar to that, but instead of reindeer, it's snowmen. So I'm going to be working on that, and stockings, and Christmas ornaments, and aprons, jewelry, different jewelry, sweater. I'm going to make a baby sweater because I don't want to even attempt a grown-up sweater right now. Booties, uh, anything you think of, they have categories for it. And they're not picky at all. If it's a sewing category, they'll let you enter crochet stuff in it too because they're just not picky. And there's not a ton of people. Our town is small, so there's not a ton of people who enter um, handicraft items. Like last year, there wasn't much crochet. Like mine, my entries were the majority of the crochet, other than afghans. There were a lot of baby afghans and regular size afghans, but all the other little things like dolls and the reefs and such that I made were the only crochet ones. And I think that that's why I had kind of a leg up of winning all those little categories. You got ink all over your belly. You're supposed to write on the paper. <laughs> you got ink on his belly and his leg. You're supposed to write on the paper. Leg. Yeah, your leg. Anyways, um, so I'm gonna be looking at fair stuff and trying to find more patterns and make them so you'll be seeing a lot of random stuff popping up soon, hopefully. Plus I wanna get, I already got some Valentine's Day decorations made and I wanna make some St. Patrick's Day ones and Easter ones You know, I just wanna make couple things for each holiday just to have hanging around just to be a little festive. Now go get your paper. This is mama's paper. Go 
hit that. Where's your paper? Why are you doing it? Go get your go get your paper. I don't know. All right. I think it was about everything. No, leave that alone. That's Mama's workout DVD. Leave that alone. <laughs> oh, I just gave it to him. Quit. Nope. 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 Please. No, Jesse DeWine, go play. I got interrupted by Jesse again. <laughs> but um, that's pretty much everything I want to talk about today. I'm pretty sure. I don't know. If I if I think of something else, I might make a different video. I do need to make the yard the crack crochet girls video. I got tagged in I think twice, but um, and I have it written down. I just haven't filmed it because when I tried to film it, somebody kept interrupting me. That's a train. You see Thomas? He's right there. Choo choo. And um, so as usual, all my likes. Oh, no. Oh no. Don't cheat. Yeah. All my links are down below. Um, my Facebook group is new. I just made it. I made a little video about it. If you watched it, you already know that. Um, so go join that if you're interested. I've sh been sharing free patterns on the, on the paper, not on the table. I've been sharing free patterns daily because there's two places that I know of that's giving away a free pattern every single day of January. So we're about closing out halfway down with that, but. Um, there's still lots of patterns to be had, and anytime I come across any other codes for a free or at least highly discounted patterns, I will share them onto that group. So if you're interested in that, go join the group. The link will be below. Um, also linked below is my Ravelry page, my Ravelry group, which isn't in, uh, active at all, which is okay. And my Instagram. I'm pretty active on my Instagram. I've been kind of slacking lately, but I'm going to try to pick back up again on that. Because I do like Instagram. I love scrolling on it and looking at everybody else's um, projects. And giveaways. There's lots of giveaways on there. <laughs> and, um, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's everything. I will link Terry's channel below and her Facebook group if you're interested in the crochet along. And the other crochet along will be, uh, listed in there too for that shawl, but proceed with caution. It's a very confusing pattern. <laughs> and, uh, I don't even wear shawls. I just wanted to join another cow because it's fun to, to do cows and you have chances of winning prizes. So that's always fun, but kind of regretting to run this one, but I've already started. So unless I mess up again, I'll finish it. But if I keep messing up, I'm just going to frog it and go on with my life. <laughs> but I'm going to hop off here and get ready to cook something. Help. Help. Here. It's open. See? Oh, it's dying because it's not paper. It's like a plastic that you're riding on. <laughs> but, um, Jesse's starting to talk more. And, uh, what? Yeah. It's so cute seeing him talk and stuff. It's crazy. He'll say little sentences, and it's, it's mind-boggling to think that he's going to be talking a lot soon. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I'm going to hop off here and go find, cook something. Probably some chicken. You want to eat some chicken for dinner? Oh, no. Oh, no, you don't. He does. Chicken's his favorite. <laughs> so I'll see you guys for sure next Friday, which is the 8th, 19th? 19th of January. Maybe in between. I do got some little clips of him that I might share because I know some of y'all liked watching him and, uh, you know, you might miss him. I don't know. But I'm going to go find his notebook and let him draw on it and quit drawing on everything else. I will see you guys next Friday. Bye. Whee! Is that fun? He's smiling. Hard to walk. This is so fun. Be careful. Come on. Oh, you go fall. Good job. Yay. You gonna come down the slide? Right on your tushy. I see you too. <laughs> Did you hear him? Yeah. Gotta get on your butt. <laughs> it's hard, huh? There you go. Oh! Uh -oh. <laughs> You're coming down it weird. There you go. <laughs> Say I'm a pretty green? <laughs> I said you're a normal green. Oh. Well. I mean, you're pretty too. Alright, well he can climb under it. He will. He's going for it. You better watch him. 
Did you fall? Look over at the water. Hi. Back. He's, too, the water. he's too happy just to be out running around. He don't care about the water. It's green, huh? See that water. Slow down. You're going too fast. <laughs> we go fall. Oh, goodness. 